My name is Pedro Hirata, I'm from Brazil. I came here to Canada to do some part of my research project. Uh, I chose Canada because the lab where I work, which is Vilma Martins lab in Brazil, uh, she's a co-work of Marco Prado, which is the lab that I'm here right now. And when I had to choose where I would go with it, with the this studentship, I chose Canada because it would be a great opportunity to keep going on my research since we are doing related things. And that's pretty much why I decided to go, came here. He had a lot of experience with some things that we don't do and they were doing, so it was a perfect uh, marriage. He came and he, he teaches uh, some things and he learns a lot as well. So one of the things that he's learning that we do uh, quite well is work on genetic modified mice uh, to understand how uh, changes in different genes affect behavior and affect the development of this neurodegenerative diseases. So he came to learn how to do behavior tests in mice to see, uh, for example, by changing a particular gene, are we going to affect the behavior outcomes in mouse models of Alzheimer's disease. So that's what he's, he's been doing right now. So this is a program that the Brazilian government set up just uh, a few months ago, in fact, less than a year ago. Uh, they recognize the need to increase the number of scientists, the number of people with experience in, in, in foreign countries, in foreign cultures, and, and to increase their science output. And I think it was a very, very uh, appropriate name, Science Without Borders, because science has no borders, right? And I think it's a very catch name. I don't think that they realize how catch it was. But it's true, science has no borders. And, and that's what uh, you know, we're seeing with these problems, but that's what we see every day. We collaborate with people all over the world. And it's, it's so important to do that because everybody brings different perspectives. I'm really excited about it because I can put up with my previous results, with the ones that I'm getting here. And I think it's going to be a great presentation, so I'm looking forward to go back and do my presentation, get my degree, and then start to think about graduation. <laughs>